That was mental. That was wicked. That was so much fun. I was scared I was going to lose my phone. But I didn't. <laughs> uh, I feel like... Like Uzi. Here he comes. God. Take your finger with him.
you guys missed it. There's a group over here, one of the clubs. So she passed out a ball and she's like, start throwing the ball back and forth toward each other and the whales will come over. Instantaneously, like a cat watching you play with a toy, one came up and started doing this. After the Shamu show, we had a tornado warning, and it was raining a little bit, and then it got really, really bad, and they started rushing us into, I don't even know what restaurant this is, and I do not like tornadoes, like, at all, like, at all, and so I had my first panic attack in a while. I just freaked out because I was in a strange place, because I don't know the protocol here. I didn't know where I was. There was a lot of people running around, crazy. And I don't like tornadoes. And it was just a lot, it was overwhelming, and I felt alone. I had a good cry for a good five minutes or so in a corner, and then Jared found me. And I'm better now, and the tornado warning's finally over, but like, so we're gonna go brave for rain to go back to the car, but I don't like tornadoes at all. Be safe, baby dolphins! So this is actually the next day. Um, I meant to film the end of this vlog when we got home, um, but I don't know what I actually talked about. Uh, first, I want to say the Manta ride I really, really liked. Um, I thought it was a really, I really liked it because it was very unique in the fact of like, it was a dangle, like your feet dangled type coaster, except for the fact that you kind of like glided and you looked down the entire time. Um, one thing I really do like about SeaWorld's coasters is that, one, they're, they're well done, um, but two, uh, I like that they're very scenic, like they take you over the water, they take you around, um, themed areas. Mako, I was told that Mako was the best coaster, and I understand why. Mako does not go upside down, which I typically like coasters that go upside down, and so the fact that it didn't up go upside down kind of made me a hmm, but I forgot that it was the tallest one, um, so when we were on it, we were like going up, going up, going up, going up, and then at one point I turned and I looked down and I was like, wow, we we're really high up. And then we make that first turn for that first drop. And like, I kind of just lost my mind. I was like, oh my God. Um, but like, even though it's just drops, it is so much fun. It's really, really smooth. Um, which like any kind of coaster, as if it's very smooth, I'm going to love it. After this Shamu show, actually right at the end of it, we got a tornado warning, uh, on all of our phones, which is why everyone in the theater, like, tried to exit quicker than before. Uh, on top of having a full park day and a panic attack on top of it, we were exhausted, which is why when we came home, Jared and I just changed our, out of our wet clothes and just kind of just sat in bed and just chilled for the rest of the day because we were exhausted. So anyway, um, we had a lot of fun at the park though. It was very, very hot and very, very humid, thus the storm. Um, but we had a lot of fun. I definitely appreciate SeaWorld because it's aquatic animals and I love the sea. Um, other than that, there really aren't that many rides for Jared and I to do together. Um, I don't really like the kitty rides. They're, I mean, they're okay, but like, I'm not like, oh, let's go ride this. Um, and I don't want to go and like wait a long time to ride on a coaster that Jared won't go on. And so it's very hard for us to be able to go to SeaWorld and enjoy it just the two of us unless I just want to go see the dolphins. I do recommend go to, going to SeaWorld at least once uh, in your life if especially if you love animals or specifically aquatic animals. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs. Um, I'm literally right now like editing this vlog and also editing the park ones um, and then we're going to the beach in a couple days and I'm really really excited about it because I miss the ocean so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.